hi welcome to another video on my channel and this video i'm so excited about this uh, video because right now it's possible for you to accept paper payments from international clients from anywhere in the world and if you are in other african countries where accepting paypal is not possible this video is for you and it's because of the partnership between Flutterwave and PayPal. So now, now you'll be able to accept payment from users all over the world and USD, and you'll be able to accept it using your Flutterwave account, and you'll be able to cash out using your bank account. So now let's get into it. The great thing about this is you don't need a PayPal account to actually use this. So once you have your Flutterwave account, you can actually collect money. So PayPal, sorry, Flutterwave will receive the money on your behalf and then transfer it to your account. You don't need PayPal. But if you want to make payment, you need a PayPal account. Of course, you can connect. I don't know how that works. But of course, if you have a PayPal already, you'll be able to make PayPal to other people that don't have PayPal to their flutter with account you get my point so but this video is about receiving payment so you don't need a paypal account just get your flutter with account and then you have the option to select paypal and receive payment for people all over the world so all right so the first thing you do is go to this flutter with there's a link in the description if you really want to just click on the link in the description and it will take you to this page so you can see on this page you see where you enter your details you put your full name your trading name your email then of course your country and then you choose uh, your how did you know about a uh, flutter wave and they choose a password and you enter now go into your email and confirm your flutter wave email is very just click on it and now you can see flutter wave there are two there are about four ways you can accept as an individual you can accept as a registered business uh, as an ngo and you can also accept so let's go with the first one first let me just show you that so i'm going to use this account and you can see there are about two fields with each having four fields each so you can see it's just for individual you don't need to have a, a business a registered business you can just use your normal name so you can see you have your trading name it could just be your username on if you are a freelancer for example you can just use your freelance name so just your trading name your residential address your industry and of course your banking details then your means of identification it's just it's very straightforward so just enter that and then you will be able to register so but i am going to register as a business so i'm not going to register as an individual so i'm going to click on the second one and you can see we also have asset payments as ngo and then to create manage asset payment from for your event so if you click on the second one so for the second one i'm going to register as a business i'm going to click continue to dashboard and you will see we have different fields we have the bank details and then we also have the business information since i'm registering as a business i will be able to i need to add more information so add my phone number and then submit to verify that phone number for one reason or the other i'm having problem with that so the bank name choose the bank name corporate account number so i'm going to choose my gtb corporate account number so i'm going to the next one i'll verify the phone number later so the business information my registered name the email and then the tin number if you have a business you or you should know your tax identification number then website then uh the industry i'm just going to choose education then the, the cac certificate i'm just going to upload one now and i took a screenshot so i don't know if they're going to accept that but it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to do that anyway and then of course the memorandum and article of association and then any other document you can add it and of course the full name the bvn so enter your bvn number is safe you don't have a problem so i'm going to enter one but i'm going to hide it anyway so your phone number your email address your streets your country your state and select city so all this just add everything and click 
So the phone number, I'm going to verify again. This time around, it should work. So now you can see all the field are completed and now you are live. So they are going to verify my information. So this account is not active yet, but I have the link to everything. So I'll be able to set up a payment link. And if you click on that payment link, you see automatically it creates a payment link for you that you can use on different sites. You can put it on your website, you can put it on social media, send it to people. And this is what it's going to look like. So you can see the net plus all my information when I enter, then anybody will put their name, first name, their last name, their email, and then click to pay me from anywhere in the world. Of course, they can use PayPal. Of course, for you to use that PayPal, that means I need to go into my dashboard and set it up. So I'll go to, you see, all everything. When I get payment, it's going to appear in my transaction. And then you can see the refund. Just click on, you can see refunds and choose our transaction. You will see. So click on that. It's, you can download your transaction history. So this is where the transaction will be. And then you'll be able to see your customers, your balance, transfers, sub accounts. So if I go to settings, this is where you add additional settings. And if you go to account settings, you the API, if you want to click it, the webhook, if you want to link it to your e-commerce website, I'll show you how to do that in another video. So if you watch the video on how to connect this to your e-commerce website and accept PayPal through your in your e-commerce website so there's a link in the description for that so you can enable paypal you can see enable paypal is active there so just make sure you check it and anyone you don't want you can just uncheck that like butter payment uh mobile payment but i'll leave everything on but if i want to use it specifically for paypal i will uncheck every other thing enable usd and leave paypal checked and then send notification to your email Yes, then set it to the bank account. So if I want it sent directly to my bank account by Flutterwave, I will check that. But if I want it to be stored in my Flutterwave account, I will uncheck that. So set it to wallet. So it will be in available balance. And once I'm ready to check out, I can just withdraw to my bank. So choose anything. So any changes you make, you save. So, but what I should do is who should pay the transaction fee? So I think I should make customer pay the transaction fee. That's a standard, by the way, these days. People should pay so that you won't lose a transaction fee because transaction fee is about, I think, about 4.4% plus 30 cents. So enable PayPal, any other thing you want to check, uncheck. But this time around, I'm going to enable everything and then click on save. You can see everything is done. And now I can add more bank account let me add my my dom account so i've added my dom account and my normal naira business account so i can make the dom account make it active so if i refresh this now and try to get make the payment so maybe you should just go visit the paypal site and check out the transaction fee first before you start using it because this is important uh whether you want your customers to bear the cost or you want to bear the cost 4.4 percent plus 30 cents and you can see on the paypal website you can see for other countries some other countries are 5.4 percent like argentina bermuda and all that nigeria it should be somewhere down there some countries are 3.5 plus some fixed fee but nigeria i think it's standard 4.4 percent even if you're using PayPal, but of course, if you're using PayPal, you won't be able to accept payments, which which is why we are here in the first place. So you can see Nigeria, some if you receive funds, customer conversation is 4%, currency conversion, that all this doesn't really matter anyway. What matters is for Flutterwave is 4.4% plus 30 cents charges when you are accepting payments from PayPal users anywhere in the world so we are going to try the transaction and see if this is going to work so i'm going to create so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this on one of my websites so i'll create a link and i'll show you how you can put it on your website so just a normal link and put it anywhere on your website you can put it in the button so i'm going to put this uh create a link so i'm going to put it in 
you know, test mode. So you click on that to create a test mode. And, uh, or you can leave it as live mode, doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to a page. Let's go to the all courses page. So let's say I want to use it for my digital, use it to sell digital product or international. So I'm going to create a link. It could be a normal link. It could be a button. So I'm going to create a button, drag it below on this page. And then where it says link. So let me center the style. Let me center it. It doesn't really matter. I don't have to style it. I'm just showing you how to do this. So I'm going to put a link, copy that link. So the link that you've created. So let's create another link, then single charge, or if it's subscription or donation. So you can choose anyone, but I'm going to choose a single charge, then the payment link name, which is going to be my business name or whatever I do. So I'm going to put it there. Let me put something like a uh, explainer video package, then USD, you can put USD, but this time around, let me just select Naira, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to put the price, let's say 10,000. So, but normally if you want to use PayPal, you should put USD. Then description, just put the description. And more options, no, we don't need that. So just create, create a link. And now a link could be created. Now copy the link, take it to our website and paste it here. And uh, make it in a win new window and save. So when we save that, let's check our website now for that link. So let somebody visit our website. When they click on that link, it's going to open on this page. So this is going to be the landing page that they're going to land on and you can see they can enter their name their uh, first name and last name and then they can make payment so it's as easy as that you can have the link on your website you can like add it on social media so let's test it let's say the first name last name email address the price is not going to change pay and it's going to take them here you can see all the options that we selected paypal USD bank, they are going to appear and you can see they can easily clear on PayPal. Like I said, if you want to use PayPal only, you can just select all other options. So, but this is a test and when they, they can log into your web PayPal and then make payment, it's as easy as that. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me create another single charge and use, create a, a USD. Let's test it out for real now. One dollar test net plus training and create a link. So I'm gonna give this link to somebody on WhatsApp, on Facebook or WhatsApp. Okay, let me give it to somebody on WhatsApp. Give it to a friend, let him make that payment. So I'm gonna pause this video. So I gave it to a friend and then I'll go to transaction. He actually tried it out. You can see payment from the guy's email. Then you can see the PayPal, through his PayPal today. And you can see, if you click on it, you have all these details. In fact, we have too many. You can blacklist the person if you want. Then you can see transaction insights, one minute, 15 seconds. The time is switched on, it's PayPal, loaded, modal, pay button. Entry card details. We are, in fact, we have too many information. More information that we need, actually, is like going through the guy's uh, screen and all that. But it doesn't really matter. What we're interested in is the money. So now you can see the device fingerprint, the IP, the customer email, the payment information, reference, transaction ID, the amount, and all that. You can see I'm getting one dollar, and that's because I transferred the charges onto the guy, so which is five cents. And every you can send the guy uh, receipts and you can see it truly work, even though this account has not been verified. And you can check your balance if you go to the balance. This is where you find the balance for every money you see by float away. This is like a ledger balance. So this is a ledger balance, which means the settlements. So you need to transfer from ledger to the bank account. So on the left, we have $1, then available balance zero, which means you need to transfer from your ledger to the available balance before you transfer to your bank account. It's, it's, it's okay. 
and then you can see all the balance history, the settlements, and and all that, which means this is good stuff. It actually works. So let's copy that and try it on Facebook too, if it's going to work. So you put it on Facebook, click on it. You can see it also works on Facebook, which means you can share it to people on Facebook, on Twitter, or whatever. So let's try it on our e-commerce website. So I'm going to, I have this store, netplustraining.com. And this time around, you can, put a link one by one. So that means you need to customize it, use something like a WooCommerce. And there's a video in the description on how you can add Flutterwave to your WordPress and WooCommerce. Make sure to watch that video if you have an e-commerce website. So let's view card. So I've set this site up with Flutterwave. And let's proceed to check out. And you can see Trusted by Flutterwave, Visa card, and then, of course, they can enter their details after purchasing any product and place order. And now on this page, they can make a payment. So international, and now they can, you can see $150 USD, and they can choose PayPal and make payment with PayPal. So if you're a freelancer, you can share it to people on social media, to your, or to your people that you want to send your, maybe your off Fiverr, you can send it to them. Send it to anybody, use an e-commerce website, use it on your own personal website for digital product. So like I said, it's a good thing that we have this because this is a great opportunity. So if you're a freelancer, you have e-commerce websites or you have digital website, whatever sites you, whatever business you do online, now you have the opportunity to accept PayPal. You don't have that excuse anymore. So go to the description there's a link register with that link and of course register as a business or as an individual and create your own flutter of account and start accepting payments for your ad work so great guys this is it so i hope you like this video and like i said check the link in the description for the other video if you operate an e-commerce website you sell whatever goods you sell on e-commerce website you'll be able to accept payment with PayPal using Flutterwave. But of course, you be, can only do this if you connect your Flutterwave with WooCommerce and WordPress. So watch that video. So I hope you like this video. Thank you and bye-bye.